You must ask the question, why would a 10-year-old child want to die? Things are gone. Welcome to Keys to Success. This is where you get your daily pills of motivation, encouragement, and strength. Now here's your host, Mr. Success. Hey, this is Mr. Success for you. And I just want to talk to you about two things. I just want to talk to you about winning and champions. Now let me explain something to you. A winner, in most cases, a winner trained for an event or some task or whatever the skill or whatever is in front of them. A winner would train for that. So like a winner would basically, there's this something coming up, so a winner would study or do something for this one event. But a champion trains for life. What am I talking about? You see, the difference is you don't have to wait until you get something to be prepared. Les Brown said it right. It's better to be prepared for something you don't have than to be than to have something and not be prepared for it. So train as a champion of your life and not a winner. Don't do moments. Do lifetime. So what you're going to do, the changes in your life must literally, literally be seen across your attitude. Now let me give you this. It's not always going to be easy. It's not always going to be right. It's not always going to be a walk. For, for, for you. It's not always going to be a simple thing. But I tell you what, life is not meant to be simple because if it was easy, everybody would have been doing it. Don't train for a winning position. Train for life. Train as a champion. Listen, whether it rains, you're training. Whether it snows, you're training. Whether it's hot, you're training. Whether you don't have lights or lights, train. You know what? If you're called to be a minister, do all that you got to do. You don't need the money. You don't need the church. You don't need anything else. What you need is the word that he's put in your heart. Because I always remember the one scripture that hits me. Always hits me and it stays there. Jeremiah. He was a young man when God called him. And what did he say? I can't do this. God and God says, listen, don't ever say that. When I call you, I will also put the words in your mouth. And you got to be able to be bold enough to say, that's what, this is what the Lord is saying to you. So you got to also understand that when you're going to train for something, never stop studying. Eric Thomas, I'm telling you, really inspired me. Will Smith, really inspired me. John C. Maxwell, Les Brown, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn. These are some of the guys that really inspired me. Now let me put some of this in there. Jerome Moe inspired me. Now, who is the person inspiring you? What are you doing for change? Miles Monroe did what Miles Monroe need to do. When are you gonna do what you need to do? Don't train for a winning position, train for championship. It's a big difference. Don't be a winner, be a champion at your life. Will you make mistakes? Of course. Are champions ever beaten? Yes. But guess what? The champion dusts itself off, get her back, and go again. The difference is the champion has a different mindset compared to a winner. You see, a winner is going to go win an event. And after that event, never train again until something else comes up. Never stop. Never get tired. The Bible says, never be weary in well-doing. So where is your life? What are you getting ready for? Where is your life heading? And how do you need to be prepared for it? Continue to visit us on Facebook, my YouTube channel. Continue to subscribe to it. Guess what? You can also visit me on Twitter. And of course, send me an email. Pop something in there. We're going to make sure that we get back to you as soon as we can. Love you so much. And again, like everything I always end with, Stay focused. You were just watching Mr. Success on Keys to Success. For more information, give us a call on 592-675-6656 or the office 227-3527. Or you can be free to send us an email at Mr. Success Staying Focused at gmail.com or visit us on Twitter.